I'm David Brown, and I'm joined here with Mark Slattery from Berkeley Nucleonics. And today we're introducing a new system, the model 971 FoodSafe uh, Spectra and Sample Analysis and exam Food Examination Kit. The FoodSafe is a completely portable analysis system that can be taken out into the field and very high performance quantitative measurements can be made of food samples or soil samples or water samples almost in real time without the need to send your data back to a laboratory. So we know that in sample collection very often uh, the delay of sending samples back to a lab for counting can be burdensome, create extra cost, it creates an unknown. The people in the field don't know if they've collected a, enough of the, of the dirt or the soil to even guarantee they've made enough measurements. This small kit uh, fits in a one pelican case about a hundred pounds and is, is fully battery powered and can be taken out in the field to provide what we consider the world's leading uh, analysis sampling out in the field. So we'll walk through a, a, an example setup uh, preparation and of course we're available by phone or by email to answer more detailed questions about your specific application. Mark, how would you begin this, the preparation work after you've unloaded your food safe kit? Well, the main components that are of interest on the food safe kit is a 2x2 two two sodium iodide detector. That's a 2 inch by 2 inch sodium iodide scintillator crystal. The model 970X this is a multi channel analyzer from Berkeley Nucleonics and a mobile PC in this instance that we're using for uh, today. This is a Trimble brand Nomad using uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 version firmware. We also have a small kitchen scale and of course a lead shield for minimizing the effect of activity from normal background materials. The first step of connecting of course would be for the detector to the multi-channel analyzer and from the multi-channel analyzer to be able to communicate with the mobile device. Those are really the only connections that are necessary for you to get started. And the typical field work would work something like this. Uh, you would go ahead and apply power to the analyzer and make sure that we have power on for our mobile PC and these are both battery powered devices but if we we're in an office or to charge them we would put yes. them up to wall power to AC. Yes, in a laboratory you would probably just go ahead and plug in via AC power into the wall. Can you use a vehicle adapter as well to power these devices? As long as you can provide 12 volts and okay. I believe uh, 24 volts power for Great. the mobile. Okay. Uh, once we have power to the multi-channel analyzer and we're able to communicate with the mobile device, we will select from the start menu the food safe application which is already loaded. It will tell us which communication port we're going to use. Most of this is predetermined and default. It's already recognized that the food safe device is here and it's uh, confirming that with a serial number reading back from this device. And it will also say that it's recognized that there is a detector already in the memory of the multi-channel analyzer named at the top of this, again, the 2x2 two two sodium iodide detector. And we will use that detector. This is followed by, just for the edification, just for the double check, uh, the important properties of the system as far as voltage, uh, high voltage, uh, coefficient gains and so forth uh, that mate the detector specifically with the multi-channel analyzer. The uh, menus, Mark, I believe are very well spelled out also in our manual with nice screenshots of each window. So for a non-technical user, it's, it's a very simple manual which has a picture of each menu item yes. on the computer. So it walks you through it visually as well as obviously with a technical description. That's good. It's an excellent point. This is simple to use and that helps make it even simpler.